Yeah, you don't want to see me use the tools improperly. It doesn't matter if some calls. Hey y'all, Jason here from Falls Hillside Home. Uh, still cleaning up the place. It is. It's looking a lot better. Still a long ways to go. Still got a lot to clean up. Uh, but it's time to take a little break, do some fun things. Gonna make a few deer feeders, and uh, it's actually time to eat lunch. Uh, so I'm gonna get some chicken and green beans. I'll show you a little setup I have here uh, for the hillside while I'm living in the garage and working on the uh, cabin. I haven't started on the cabin yet, but it's coming. Uh, first things first, I feel like I really got to get this place cleaned up. Uh, I have a fresh place to start uh, before I start building. And that's what we're doing. I expect to be done maybe by the end of this month. My goal originally was the end of January. Uh, but I'm thinking I'll get done by the first of the year. Get everything cleaned up before I can start building. All right, well, uh, let's get some lunch. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this chicken is kind of the same way uh, I blacken chicken. I use blackening seasoning. I don't have blackening seasoning, but I picked up a few things while I was at Bass Pro the other day, and one of them is this uh, Mr. Steak Super Blend. Uh, it's got I know, like a smoke flavor, um, pepper, garlic, onion, you know, that sort of thing. I really like it. So what I'll do is I'll turn the burner on, got my cast iron skillet, my melt some butter. Me on pretty high heat. Um, and then I'll put the seasoning on the butter and let that, you know, just kind of uh, season just for, you know, a, a few seconds or so. And then I'll put the chicken on there. And the chicken shouldn't take long at all to cook. Uh, this is uh, really pretty quick. So what I'll probably do is probably go ahead and get the beans going first. I'm gonna throw the same seasoning, butter, and the beans too. Uh, might as well, I don't have much seasoning. Uh, I think I picked up uh, two different types of fried seasoning while I was there for french fries when I have the kids. Uh, and uh, a pickle, and that's gonna be it. You know, pretty simple uh, lunch. But I got a whole pack of chicken. Let's cook all of it, eat all of it, because I don't want to get sick. I'm kind of very uh, cautious when it comes to that. All right, let me show you how I do this.
Well, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Forgot to put the seasoning in there first. That's okay, just improvise. It's not the end of the day. Does ruin lunch. There's a nice coat on there. Probably won't have to add any more than that. Sit down here in the swing, enjoy my lunch and unsweetened tea. I guess I'm going to need to find a table to sit my drink on. I'm not going to be able to swing and eat. Anyway, I found this swing right back there in the woods behind me. Pulled it out. These arms were folded in on both sides, but I just bent them back and put the thing together. It works fine. Now, the stove that I got, that you saw me cooking on, I got that at Bass Pro, just, uh, I mean, it's under 200 bucks. I'm always gonna be able to use it. So my idea when I get the cabin built on the back porch, I'm gonna have an outdoor cooking area. And I'm not sure I'm gonna have appliances inside yet. We'll see, because it does get cold here. And I've been dealing with that for like the past uh, three days. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. So I have like a little uh, screened in back porch area too, with some beds to sleep out there summer nights when it's uh you know hot out the nice and cool in the nighttime uh that's an option but you know just thoughts but i like that stove it's working well you saw the percolator there probably that's how i make my coffee in the morning and uh oh the chicken yeah you saw it uh i actually put the chicken in there before i put this seasoning but it's okay uh nothing get upset over it's not a game changer uh it's just not the way i usually do it and sometimes uh I get ahead of myself but uh anyway let's stop talking here for a second eat this lunch and then we'll go uh i'll show you how i made deer feeders and uh we'll go put those up all right all right so for the deer feeder it's a real simple yeah i had to put some more uh clothes on it's getting cool out here um so just take some pvc pipe it's you know this white plumbing pipe nothing real special I think this is four inch that I'm using. Uh, but I think it's a good size to use. And what I did is I cut a little notch out right here, as you can see, just for the uh, feed to flow through once I get it secured onto the tree. So uh, you can use ratchet straps to do this. So I'm gonna turn this just a little bit for you there. Uh, but I wanna see if I can get these to work. So I have some of these left over from a, a bikini top for my Jeep that I had. Uh, so, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get these to work, but I like using what I have. I'm not going out and buying extra stuff. You know, like that swing that I found in the, in the woods, the grass growing up over it. So that right there would probably be enough to hold it in place alone, but I'm going to put a couple more if I can find maybe this will work it might be just a tad too short yeah we're going to find a longer one I got some that are blue but I really don't I painted these camo just because I just didn't want them to stick out it's not so much that I'm trying to hide them uh, Tennessee you're not supposed to hunt over uh corn stuff like that it's illegal but at the moment i'm not hunting uh, i'm not going to hunt until i'm able to take my kid out one of them i got two both my uh, youngest son and my daughter they want to go hunting with me i think it's more just to be with me than anything and that's really cool i appreciate that so yeah i'm not hunting right now i'm not going to be hunting for a few more days i got planned up here on the hillside to keep me busy of course Let's see, that's still not going to be enough. 
this should be though. All right, let's try this out. Ah, sun's coming through the clouds. Feels nice. Had a blue jay over here eating some of the corn that I've been throwing out by hand. I had to spook him off. So I'll come over here and do the video. I uh, also got like a little, it's called a test cap. I can put that on the top there, keep from rain falling in and making everything. You want to kind of keep that dry. What's out here, it doesn't really matter. Um, now, some of y'all might be thinking, well, you know, those automatic feeders uh, are much better, and they are, uh, but they're expensive. They cost money. I had this stuff laying around the house, found it when I was cleaning up the garage. Uh, the only thing I had to buy was the spray paint, and I need that anyway because I want to make some hunting blinds and uh, paint those camouflage as well. Uh, so the advantage to these is they're cheap. Like the PVC pipe's not expensive at all. Uh, with what I found here, I found one piece of PVC pipe cut into three sections. So I got three feeders. I got a couple places in the woods that I'm putting out corn as well. Uh, corn and these little pellets and all that. I don't think they're eating the pellets. But they could be, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, the bad thing about these is, and this is where the automatic feeders, uh, you know, where their advantage is. But these right here, they're going, yeah, they can empty out within a day. Uh, now, I guarantee you, know, I could fill this up today and then tomorrow, all that feed could be gone because they're just going to keep eating, eating, eating until they get full or they just want to stop and move on, whatever. And these feeders attract a lot of things. They attract uh, birds. Like I said, I had a blue jay out here a minute ago, probably going through the corn. Uh, squirrels, I've seen rabbits out here as well. Um, I've seen possums, chipmunks out before, probably raccoons have come, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and that's the kind of cool thing about them to me. You get to see a lot of different um, wildlife on these feeders. Uh, hopefully you never see a hog up here. Hogs are destructive. Uh, see one of those, have to take care of it. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, uh, this would be fun for the kids to come to. When they come over, uh, they can uh, fill it up. I'm going to show you how this works here. See if I can do this while I'm on my knees. And I think you can see, let me see. Yeah, check the camera, make sure you can see this angle. Yeah, you should be able to see the corn come out right there. I'm going to turn it angle down just a little bit. There you go, and you got the top. Let's see, right here, yep. And you should see it come out of that little square uh, notch that I cut out of the uh, PVC pipe. Did it with Sawzall. Uh, I mean, really, it didn't really look safe or even feel safe. That's why I didn't show you guys that. I'm not gonna show you something that, you know, uh, if I was using proper tools and stuff, sure. But yeah, you don't wanna see me using tools improperly. It doesn't matter if some falls out the side. You really don't. You only get most of it in the PVC pipe. So I just keep pouring it, pouring it, but it's not coming out of the bottom. But as they eat this, if you see if I, if I reach in here and pull it, just more falls out. And that's the idea behind this, this gravity fed. Uh, but as long as they're here eating, that stuff's just gonna fall, 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 and it could be empty in the day. Whereas your automatic feeder, um, I mean, it's going to last for as long as, you know, however you set it, the settings. I never had one. Uh, I know you can put timers on them and uh, kind of dictate the amount of feed you want to go out per time set. It turns on in the day. Uh, like I said, nothing fancy here. Uh, most people come up probably wouldn't even see this. It's not really hidden or anything. Uh, and I guess if a squirrel wanted to, a squirrel could probably take that off, climb down into the pipe. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it goes though. Uh, they're clever uh, little creatures. And I don't think any deer are hitting this area. This is right by the garage. Uh, it could be. I see some um, deer sign that's right up the hill behind me there. Uh, but I haven't seen any deer out here in the yard so far. Uh, but hopefully they're hitting the feed I've been putting out back there. I've just been throwing it out by hand. And if you were to look around, you know, there's corn uh, still right through out this morning. I like to watch them. I come out here and see the squirrels and the rabbits, you know, as I'm working every once in a while. And the birds, too. Uh, yeah, 
I've got them used to the area now they know where to come and they'll be able to find this so we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll give y'all an update here in a few weeks on how that's doing all right hey uh that wraps this video up if uh, you haven't already please subscribe it helps me out a great deal uh, hit the like button uh, comment on what you think about the deer feeder and this isn't just for deer hunters if you're not a hunter no, that's fine uh, that is completely fine you could put one of these out and bring uh, deer to your yard you could sit out in the evening and uh, watch them come in to feed at your feeder you know, so, and I enjoy that too I probably enjoy that more than the hunting uh, portion of it but yeah subscribe like leave a comment uh, let me know what you think about the videos let me know what you think about the feeders and even the, my little job on the chicken dinner there uh, and hit that uh, notification button too that way it's going to let you know every time I post a new video I'm going to try to keep them coming I haven't sent one out since I've gotten here honestly um, I think today's the 17th or 18th something like that I don't know I'm losing track of it it could be the 19th um, but anyway I'll get these videos out and rolling and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them alright love y'all bye mm -hmm.